Chandler or his family on his behalf filed a litigation, a lawsuit against you? Yes. Okay. Were you aware at, that at some point in time in that lawsuit, Adrienne McManus gave her deposition? I'm not positive. Your answer confuses me. Uh, how do you mean you're not positive? You don't know whether she gave her deposition or not? Exactly. So then, if I understand it correctly, you are not going to allow me to go into any areas in connection with Brett Barnes. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, in the latter portion of 1993, there were some allegations leveled at you concerning improper conduct with some young boys. Uh, I assume you're familiar with the fact that those allegations were raised. Is that right? Yes. In fact, there was ultimately uh, at least two uh, grand jury inquiries into that that I am currently aware of, although counsel tells me there may have been a third. Uh, were you aware that a grand jury investigations were conducted into those allegations? Yes. When, strike that, did you know at the time that the grand jury was investigating these matters, but that they were in fact investigating. In other words, you didn't find out after it had completed. You knew in advance that people were being subpoenaed to testify. In advance? Yeah, poorly phrased. Let me it is my understanding that some of Neverland Valley Ranch employees were subpoenaed to testify before the grand jury. Do you know that to be the case as well? Yes. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you recognize the uh, handwriting on these two sheets? Yes. Do you know whose handwriting it is? It's mine. Do you know what these documents are? Yeah. What is this? Um, crazy stories that people have uh, created. Things I wanted to set straight in an interview. Do you know with whom this interview was? The next, I think it could have been Diane Sawyer, or whatever the interview was that I wanted to do. I wanted to set the record straight, that people here lie long enough, that people believe it, that people have lied on me. I'm a black American and I'm proud of it, and I'm honored of it. The bleach skin rumor, which is a rumor, I don't bleach my skin. They, they once said I wanted a white kid to play me as a child, which was a rumor. <laughs> Uh, inauguration rumor saying I didn't want to do President Clinton's inauguration. I'm not gay. Uh, he says, don't judge a person unless you have sp spoken to them one on one, which, which is true. Because uh, what you hear is a lie, uh, untrue. I can't make out this part yet. It is illegible in portions. That's true. And Jesus said to love the children and be like children. Be youthful and be innocent and be pure and honorable. He was talking to his apostles. And they were fighting over who's the greatest among themselves. And he said, whoever humbled yourself like this child is the greatest among me. And he always surrounded himself like with children. And that's how I was raised to believe and to be like that and to imitate that. So I don't know what you're trying to make out of it. I made a list of things. I, when I get angry enough, I write down what I want to say and what I want to talk about to set the record straight. You should get to a point where you get tired of people lying. I get tired of situations like this, where people completely lie on me, and I'm sick of it.